Hey, what's up guys? It's Joe here. We're back with a brand new shmup video. And today, we are playing a very special shmup. We are playing Raiden 3 Digital Edition. Um, and we're gonna go to Game Start. Quick little fucking shmup video. Play Raiden 3 Digital Edition. This is basically just the PC version of Raiden 3. Originally appeared on the PlayStation 2. Um, it's one of those PlayStation 2 games that I really want to get, but you can get for fairly cheap on eBay. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Probably gonna end up getting it on eBay um, once I turn 18. And I have access to my bank account. Because, dude, when I turn 18, and my parents, like, help me get that debit card that I've been asking for, um, I'm gonna get a lot of games. Um, I'm not gonna spend all my money at once, but over time, I'm gonna try to track down a shit ton of these games that I've missed out on, or like the limited run games. Not not specifically the company limited run, but just like games that only had a limited amount made. Um, like, I really wanna track down, I don't know if this was limited per se, but I really wanna track down the R-Type Dimensions EX Switch Physical. Um, the Vasara Collection Switch Physical, which I don't know if it's out at the time of this recording. Um, but it's, if it's not out now, it'll be out soon. I want to get the Vasara Collection Physical. Uh, the Cyvarior Delta Switch Physical. Um, the, what it, what's it called? I want to get the, Dunmo the Danmaku Unlimited 3 and Steridin, uh, Physicals, which the Danmaku Unlimited 3 one is made by uh, the limited run games company and then the steridin physical is the super rare games company which is just like uh, it's basically the same thing as limited run games but it's based in Europe um, I also need to track down there's this one uh, Xbox game called Cyvarior 2 extend edition uh, I really want to track down that one but there's barely any copies available on eBay. It was for the original Xbox. It was a port of Cyvarior 2. Um, Raiden 3, obviously, the what this game you're seeing now, I want to get the PS2 version. Um, I want to get the Japanese uh, uh, Darius Cosmic Collection Special Edition uh, on Switch. I also want to get the Japanese um, physical of Final Fantasy X 10, 2 10 HD Remix uh, for Switch because it has both games on one cartridge. You don't have to download anything extra, and it also has, obviously, the English on the cartridge. And then don't even get me started on the Radergy Swag physical and the Ghostblade HD physical on Switch. Those are, like, the top two shmup physicals that I need to get um, on the Switch. Like, if I had to choose any two, it would be Radergy Swag and Ghostblade HD. Um, Sturmwind, H uh, Sturmwind EX actually... Fuck, I'm so bad at this. Stur Sturmwind EX actually comes out this Friday. Um, on November 8th on Switch. I think it's already out on PC, but I'm super excited to play it on Switch and test it on Yuzu, which I will be doing, and if it does go in-game, you guys will see it on the channel. Um, and thanks to a lot of people, thanks to all of you guys who have been checking out all the emulation videos. The emulation videos are probably why, um, I'm growing slightly faster than I thought I would be, um, even though it's still pretty slow. Um... The emulation videos are probably what the reason that people are keep cons uh, subscribing to me, because don't get very many. I don't get very many views. Fuck, game over. Uh, I don't get very many views on my commentary videos. Like barely any at all. Like it sucks. Oh man, we have what? EBB. That's my score. I'm third place. Let's actually see if there is a... Oh, I was on very hard mode, that's why. Um... So normal. Five. Alright, saved. Game start! And this game is just really fun in general, I really like this game. 
Um, I did, uh, last time I, I pre- I did a video of this on PCSX2, uh, fairly recently, but it's not uploading, it's not gonna upload for a while. My sister is screaming downstairs. Um, I scheduled it to upload, like, far into the future from now. Um, like, I think, like, January or something. But, um, last, the, the only other episode of this that I have on the channel is I have a gameplay video of the PC version, but then the PCSX2 video I did, like, last school year, um, and that was, like, an early, early video on the channel, like, before I even was doing all that iOS gameplay stuff, I think, or it might have been around the same time. Um, but whatever, it was a while ago, and there will be another one uploading in the future, um, for PCSX2, but this is the first time I'm doing commentary video of this, and it's very exciting, um, I'm also going to be doing soon, or whenever, I'm gonna be doing a commentary video of, um, Denmaku Unlimited 2, people usually think of Denmaku Unlimited 3, but they always forget about Denmaku Unlimited 2, which honestly, I think... As far as I know right now, I kind of prefer Denmaku Unlimited 2. Um, and then there's also, I'm going to do a video on Raiden 5 on PC. And I'm going to do a video on Steel Empire on PC, which is another great shmup. Uh, for PC, it's, also, it's, the port of, it's a port of the 3DS version. Um, which is basically just like a remaster of a game. It's, it was a shmup that originated, I did a video on the Game Boy Advance version, but it was a, it was a shmup that was, por it was originally on the Sega Genesis, and then they ported it to the Game Boy Advance, um, and then they remastered it on the 3DS, which that version also got ported to PC, um, so I'll be doing a video of that. I might end up at some point doing a video of the 3DS version, uh, using Citra, I don't really know yet, probably won't be for a while. That one is not on my priority list. Um, hold on. Sorry if it froze. Um, I'm waiting for some things to like extract onto a USB drive uh, as I record this. So yeah. Which it was actually the one that just finished that I just exited out of right now was Steel Empire. And I'm waiting for Raiden 5 to extract onto the USB drive. Because I had it on the USB drive already, but it was in the zip folder. And this is a stupid USB 2.0. I got it because it was like $10 cheaper than 3.0. Um, it was a 128GB USB 2.0 for like, I think it was $12.99. And the other one was uh, $20.99. And I just, I realized after I paid for the, the $12.99 one that I would not have had enough money to get the 20, the, the 3.0, because the tax on this one, even though it was significantly cheaper, it was like $3, so I ended up paying like 14 bucks, uh, just for that, so I wouldn't have, I only had like $23, I wouldn't have had enough, uh, to get the $20.99 one, um, with tax included, but I did also donate a dollar. Uh, to Children's Hospital at Best Buy. Um, so it, the total was fifteen dollars and something cents because I donated that pesky dollar because I'm a sucker for charity. Whenever I, like I'm at like a store or something, um, as long as I have an ex at least a dollar to spare, I'll and they be like, hey, do you want to donate so and so to whatever whatever charity? And I'll I'll always do that. I'll always donate at least a dollar, preferably only a dollar, because that's most of the time all I am willing to do it. Like if it's like a man, if like you do it, if if like, fuck, I can't speak. If they make, if they, if like the the lowest you can make to this whatever store or charity or whatever is like more than a dollar, then I probably won't do it, because they should let people choose how much they want to pay. If they ever like. If you're like, yeah, I'll donate, but then they make you pay more than a dollar. Because, like, Best Buy, you can pay, like, um, there was, like, an option for five, there was an option for one, and there was an option for, like, ten and twenty, I think. But I only donated a dollar, 
because I still had other things that I needed to save up for. Um, I'm thinking of buying, um, I'm going to save my tips from my work, and I want to buy um, either the Disney Classic Games Aladdin and Lion King physical, um, or the Killer Queen Black physical, because they had both those there at my local Best Buy. But Killer Queen Black, I think they only had like one more copy, so I might get that. But yet again, I don't know that much about Killer Queen Black. I've barely even seen any gameplay. All I know is that it's like an arcade game that originated in Japan, and I really just want to add it. To I'm going to get it eventually. Um, but I don't know. Um, so, I think that is actually uh, going to do it. For this episode, let me try to get back to the main menu. Main menu. Yes. Alright, so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, shmup video of Raiden 3 Digital Edition. I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.